Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. Another story about Samuel. This one is Samuel the Kingmaker. Are you sitting comfortably? With God's help, Samuel led God's people. And when Samuel grew old, the people asked him for something that made him sad. Everybody else has a king, they said. So why can't we have a king too? Samuel told God about this and God helped him to feel better. It's not you they don't want, God said. It's me. I'm their true king, but sometimes they just can't see it. So tell the people they can have a king if they want, but tell them the truth. Tell them that it won't make their lives any easier. So that's what God did. God says you can have a king, he told the people, but he wants you to know what it will mean. A king will turn your sons into soldiers, your daughters into housemaids, and your grain and your gold into gifts for his special friends. In other words, he will make you his slaves. It didn't sound very nice, but the people still wanted a king, so Samuel found them one, a tall and handsome man named Saul. Saul did well for a while, but then he stopped listening to Samuel and he stopped obeying God. So God told Samuel to find another king. Go to Bethlehem, God said. Find a man named Jesse. If the people must have a king, then it should be someone who loves me and trusts me and will follow me. That someone is one of Jesse's sons. So Samuel went to Bethlehem. And when he laid his eyes on Jesse's oldest son, Eliab, Samuel was sure that Eliab was the one. God was sure too, sure that Samuel was wrong. He may be tall, God said, but so was Saul. And remember how he turned out. And then God said something very important. You can only see what people look like on the outside, Samuel, but I can look inside them deep down into their hearts. And it's what's on the inside of a person that matters most to me. So Samuel moved to Jesse's other sons while God looked into their hearts. How about the second son? Said Samuel. No, said God. Try again. The third son? Afraid not. The fourth son? No way. The fifth son? You must be joking. The sixth son? Not a chance. The seventh son, asked Samuel, he's the only one left. You'll have to look harder, said God, because he's not the one either. I don't suppose you have any more sons, Samuel asked Jesse. Well, there's the youngest, Jesse answered, but he's out in the field looking after the sheep. Fetch him, said Samuel, quick as you can. And when the boy appeared, God whispered to Samuel, that's the one. His heart is pure and true and he longs to follow me. So Samuel poured oil on the head of Jesse's youngest son as a sign that God wanted him to do special things and that one day he would be king. And the youngest son's name was David. Amen.